Here we have a 1953 Chevrolet 3100 panel truck. This one came into us just as you see it, and obviously is not your standard panel truck. This thing, first off, as you can see, has been put on a GM four-wheel drive chassis. And as you look through the pictures in the video, you'll see that it's uh, centered uh, properly, fits the truck actually pretty well. Uh, this is a true 3100. Uh, the GVWR was uh, 4900, so it is a 3100 uh, body and stuff anyway. It's powered by small block GM V8. It's got power steering and power brakes. Now the decals that you're seeing on the truck, those are, um, it's not paint. It is in fact a uh, vinyl sticker, so those can be removed. Uh, this truck is on consignment from a good customer of ours who happens to own that business. And uh, he's thinning out a couple of his toys and wanted to see if someone else could have as much fun with this one as he did. Get a look here. Now you can see all the still pictures of this truck on our website at uniqueclassiccars.com. So there'll be pictures of the underside and everything on there for you. Seems to be a pretty solid old truck. You take a look, the bottom of the doors there and stuff are solid. Here's the, uh, the GVW, I guess 4800, excuse me, not 4900. So that would be a 3100 truck. Has captain's chairs borrowed out of a different vehicle at some point. You look at the vehicle, you got a tachometer, all your gauges there. There is not a speedometer in this truck, just so you're aware. Fuel gauge, uh, aftermarket stereo, of course. Um, it does need, if you want to finish, it does need a headliner and upper side panels. The rear panels, uh, when I open the door in the back here in a minute, you'll see that, uh, I'll open that up here quick. Now the, see the, the lower part of the truck is, or the panels inside is finished off in some wood trim. That air tank over there is for some horns that are under the hood you'll see in a minute. There you go. But again, you look back here, it is quite solid. It's not rusted out. Same thing with the bottom of these doors. Looks quite solid there. Those closed up. <clears throat> Dual exhaust. And again, you can see all the still pictures of this truck on our website at uniqueclassiccars.com. And we'll get it fired up here for you. All right, she is running. You can see the gauges are all lit up there. Now, check this out. Here's how you open the hood. This has got to be one of the slickest things I've seen in a while. Uh, you flip this switch right here. Watch this. Power opening hood that reveals that small block V8 I was telling you about. Complete with a nice set of headers, gives it a good sound. Again, you got power brakes, power steering. You got an upgraded aluminum radiator in there. And here's the horns I was telling you about. Those are air-powered horns from the tank in the back. The mechanism to open the hood, it looks like a uh, work gear drive out of, say, a, a 50s Thunderbird or 60s Lincoln. Give you another walk around, like you hear the back here. You know, this truck is uh, something you can drive, uh, you know, if you choose to take it down the freeway. Uh, hey, you know what, guys, it is an old truck, so expect that sort of ride and so on. But as you can hear, the engine runs great, and she's ready for a new home. Again, all the still pictures are on our website at uniqueclassiccars.com, and trades are considered as well.